much it. My guess, guess. My guess, guess. Kept it in my purse for a few days. In the box, of course, because they carry things in their boxes for some reason. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and it has been a crazy week. In the grand scheme of things, it's no big deal, but I had some technical stuff going on, some computer issues, so it's been just like a weird week, like one of those weird weeks, you know what I mean? So I'm practicing my patience, because technology, like, oh my goodness, let me know if you're like that. The it just, it gets me, you know what I mean? But like I said, it's no big deal in the grand scheme of stuff in life, I'm thankful it's just that. So anyway, favorites this week. I was into very just kind of easy, everyday, never fail you kind of makeup looks. Just very like neutral, easy makeup. So those were all my favorites. Like I've got some neutral stuff. I've got some kind of like forgotten drugstore favorites, some new things, some new stuff I tried out. Just kind of all over the place, but yeah. A lot of this kind of look this week, so let's get to it. On my eyes this week, I really hadn't played with this palette in a while. This is the CoverGirl True Naked Nudes palette. That's another thing I love about like new drugstore releases is that it just like reignites my love for drugstore makeup. So it like reminds me to pull things out that I really enjoy but I haven't played with in a while. So this was one thing that I pulled out this week and I just love this palette. Like I think this is so nice. These are kind of powdery and they do sort of fall on your face, but I mean, they make some really pretty eye looks. Like I love this transition shade. I love this kind of like shimmery shade here. The light colors are really pretty too. It's just a pretty palette. Like it's really, really beautiful. I love these like light colors. Like those are probably my favorite part. And I almost always use them with Mac Fix Plus cause it just kind of like kicks them up a little bit and just, you know, gives them a little bit more pizzazz and punch, but it's still just really a pretty, pretty palette. Especially if you like very neutral looks, this is such a great palette for work, school, every day, PTA meetings, whatever, where you just kind of want to be a little bit made up but not full on glam. You can go full on glam with it for sure, but it's just a great staple neutral palette. Jessie's Girl was so sweet this week and sent me their new fluid shadows and they actually sent me every single shade. So what I did is I swatched them all and posted that picture on Instagram. So if you want to see every color, check there. But I've been playing around with these this week because several of you guys commented on that picture and said that you were not impressed with these, that they really didn't work for you. So I'd already tried one of them and this was definitely the standout for me this week. So I tried a couple more and this is what I would say about these. I don't think that they're all great for sure like there were definitely some colors that were kind of like uneven when i was swatching them now i haven't tried them all on my eyes but just swatching them they seem to be a little bit patchy and stuff but these three i really really like but they're kind of a product that you sort of have to like work with them you know what i mean so i swatched the three that i really love and that i played with this week so i can um show them to you so this is definitely the standout for me this is destiny so it's kind of like a taupey sort of a shade. So I do have this on my lids today, but then I have a color over it. You know, these are a fluid shadow. So I really don't ever use a product like this by itself. Like I always put something over it. So that's what I did with these two. And then the middle one is Penny Arcade. I love that one. I think that's gorgeous. So pretty. And then that kind of like reddish bronzy sort of color is rose bronze. Now this one is a little bit on the patchy side, but it can be built up. So this is what I find with these. You really can't blend them out a lot. Like I just tap it on my eyes with the brush. Like I tap it with the brush on my eyes. Then I tap it with my finger to kind of blend it. And I just keep layering it, but I let it set just a little bit and then I'll put another layer. Cause if you wipe it, it's going to wipe away. So it's kind of, it's a delicate sort of a product that takes a little bit of working with, but I like the end result. I really do like them. Like I said, I mean, not impressed by every shade for sure, but these I really do like, especially Destiny and especially Penny Arcade. This is like a close third. I wore this one with Kat Von D's Raw Power and it was really pretty. So, you know, I think it's gonna be a personal preference if you like fluid shadows, if you wanna work with them or not. I like makeup, so I like playing with different things. So I don't mind working with different products in different ways because I find it just kind of like, 
I don't know, creative and fun. So these are the standouts for me, but especially Destiny this week. This is a total overlooked drugstore favorite that I pulled out again this week and just really, really love this product. I think it's just like every time I used it, I was like, I love this. It's so pretty. This is the CoverGirl Instant Cheekbones, and I think that the color is purple plum. It says P R L P L M. My guess, my bet, my guess, guess, my guess, guess. My best guess would be purple plum. So it's the three different things. I first heard about this from Emily, Emily Noel 83, and I think it was in like a overlooked goods, goodies in the drugstore, something like that, sort of a video. She mentioned these and I don't think I'd ever even looked at them, but they are pretty. So what I've been doing this week is I pretty much mix these two and sometimes I'll even like swipe my brush across all three of them. This is what I have on my cheeks today. I do have a highlight up here, but this does have a glow to it. Like it, like right in here, you can kind of see it has like this pinky glow. It's so pretty. So it's a pink color, but then it has a little bit of a sheen to it, which gives it this really like fresh look on the skin. It's awesome. And it wears really, really well throughout the day. It's just one of those products. I hope they still have them in the store. I haven't like gone and looked recently, but I hope they still have them because this is good. And like, I never hear anybody talk about these. I think Emily's the only one I've ever heard talk about them, but this one is amazing. So the highlighter that I have on today is from this palette and I've been playing with this all week and I love this thing. I think it's so pretty. This is the Sephora Luminizing Palette. So they have a new luminizing palette, they have a new contour palette, and I think this is awesome. It's $28 and you get a lot of highlighter options in here and they're really, really beautiful. So this is my favorite. This is the one that I have on my cheekbones today. It's like that amazing pinky tone, the gold I really love, this deeper pink I really love. This one is like super light, so for really porcelain complexions, that would be beautiful. There's a nice bronzy color for deeper complexions. There's just a lot of options in here, so such a pretty palette. Now, I would say that the formula kind of reminds me of like the um, NYX Duochrome highlighters. So not as buttery as like a Makeup Geek highlighter, but still, really, really nice, especially for the price that you get six of them for $28. It's just really pretty. But that one right there, I can't handle that. It's so pretty. That is gorgeous. It's like a really light, icy sort of a pink, but this one is a really beautiful, like kind of slightly deeper pink. Mm, so, so pretty. So if you've seen this popping up in your Sephora's, I'd say give it a look because it's really pretty. Okay, on to lips. So I've been trying out a couple things that Octoly sent me this week. First off is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Matte Sculpting Lipstick. This is in 120 Irrepressible. Irrepressible. So I tried this and wore it, I think last weekend, and I really like this. I mean, I think if you like the other ones, this is like the matte version, but I think you have to like a matte lipstick to enjoy this one, which I love a good matte lipstick because especially in a shade like this, I don't want it moving around and this didn't move around. It's one of those mattes, um, I wouldn't say it quite feels like the Maybelline Creamy Mattes. It's a little bit drier than that, more like the Kat Von D Study Kiss lipsticks, which I love those. Um, so it's really just personal preference, like how you like your matte lipsticks to feel. I really like them all. Other than like liquid lipsticks, those are not my favorites, but as far as just like matte lipsticks, I like a bunch of different formulas. So this is a little bit drier than a creamy matte, but still comfortable on the lips and just doesn't move around. So that's why I really like it. And this is a beautiful kind of like deeper classic red. It's really, really beautiful. So with an eye look like this, you know, it just like, that's why I was going with, with these eye looks this week. It just, this eye look goes with everything. So I love this kind of an eye look with a red lip. So that's what I wore last weekend and I like it. And it smells like a MAC lipstick, which is also yummy. Nice packaging too. It's a fancy lipstick. It's a fancy, nice lipstick. Feels fancy, looks fancy, smells fancy. I like it. And then this, I applied to try this one because I loved the other one that I tried. So this was a different shade. And this one is exclusive to Blue Mercury. I've never heard of that website, but it's like a specific shade to them and it will be available in February. So this is the By Terry Rouge Expert Click Stick. 
and it's a hybrid lipstick and this is in 500 Rouge Mercury. So if you follow me on Snapchat, you saw when I first tried this. I love this. I think it's such a nice formula, such a beautiful color. So it's like a, a sort of a situation like this, like a pen kind of a thing. And then it's got the color at the bottom. You open it and then it's like a click up. So you click it to get more of it. So it's kind of cool. I don't know, sort of a different kind of a packaging. So this is more of like a warm rose. It's really, really beautiful. And the formula on this is really nice. It's sort of like a, I don't know, like that silicone-y, slightly slick feeling kind of a lip product where it's really like soft and comfortable on the lips, but then it sticks around for a while. You know what I mean? Like, I'm hopefully you know what I'm describing because there's certain lipsticks that feel like this. This has that feeling. And I think it's fun packaging, but I just really, really love that color. So wore that a couple times this week, kept it in my purse for a few days, in the box, of course, because I carry things in their boxes for some reason, even when I throw them in my purse. I don't know why. I did that with my lip gloss I'm about to mention to you too. I don't know why I did that I, I, or why I do that. Not just did it, I keep doing it. Something that I always do is carry things in their boxes, keep them in their boxes, who knows? So anyway, tangent on boxes. One thing I do need to note about this lipstick, it has a florally scent. And I was trying to place what it smelled like the first time I tried it and I couldn't think of it. To me, it smells very similar to L'Oreal lipsticks, which I know a lot of people really don't like. And it's not my preference either, so now that I've kind of pinpointed it, I'm like, oh, I really don't like the scent on it, but it does go away after it's on your lips for a little bit, and I can handle it because I like the formula and the color so much. So anyway, yeah, that was a favorite this week for sure. So the gloss that I wore this week that I randomly carried in its box in my purse as well is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss, and this is in Papa Don't Peach. I do have this on today, but I also have it on with a lip liner love both of these products. So I wore them both individually this week, but then I wore them together today and I think they work together too. So the Sweet Peach, no, what it's, what's it called? The Papa Don't Peach gloss is like a gorgeous kind of warm nude sort of a shade. It's really, really beautiful. I love the formula on this. These glosses, they are so creamy and hydrating, they feel like a lip treatment, but then they have really pretty colors too. So love, love, love those. And then I am stinking obsessed, stinking obsessed with these liners. These are the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner. So I put up a whole video on new Wet n Wild stuff on Monday. These were definitely a standout for me. These are amazing. I would compare them with any high-end lip liner. Like they remind me a lot of the Sephora gel lip liners, but I actually wore one of those this week and I like those a lot, but I think I like these better and they're $4.99. The others are affordable too, but these are even more affordable and I think they're amazing. This color is, what is this color? 651B Bare to Comment. So there they are individually. You can see them together on my lips. Really, really pretty. They're both just great everyday colors. Sometimes I like to throw, like a lot of times I have Jordana, most of the time, I have Jordana Tawny in my purse because I can pair it with other things. I can wear it by itself. And I think I'm gonna do that with this as well, but it's just like something you can keep in your purse to wear with other lipsticks you might throw in there because it goes with so much, so does Tawny, but also it works by itself too. So if you just want some lip color, you've got something in your purse. So anyway, really, really pretty nude lip combo. Love them both, both amazing products. This little peach on the end just makes me happy. That's adorable. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.